Well, you see, Griffin's having some trouble with his traveling papers. Have you tried talking to the consulate? I've done nothing but talk to the consulate. I mean, nobody will listen to me. I mean, for a man who has given away a fortune, nobody seems to be his friend. I'm, I don't understand what the delay is all about. Well, you don't have time to waste. No, I mean, he's supposed to do a live interview for me upon the completion of the story. I mean, it's a real coup. Well, Derek Griffin doesn't like the limelight. Maybe he's just doing this as an excuse to see you again. Please, this is strictly professional. Now, Mason told me you had some contacts in Washington. I thought maybe you could make some calls and... Actually, about his yeah, thank you. I do know someone who works at the State Department. I will give her a call. How's that? Thanks. I'll let you know. I'd appreciate it. I really would. <laughs> okay. Big favors. Does that sound like it's coming from within the studio? Oh, God. He followed me into the lobby. I was sure that they wouldn't let him up here. I I'm sorry. Who? It's another one of Mason's attempts to woo me into some hypnotic state where I suddenly and miraculously forget all of the excellent reasons that I threw him out in the first place. Aside from that abortive wedding that still haunts me in my dreams, this is <laughs> proving to be one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. some very twisted ways of, of going about things. Julia, Mason loves you. And he knows you're not into all of this stuff. I mean, but the fact uh, is that he's willing to take pure rejection from you. I mean, I wish I had the courage to take chances courage. like that. Courage? This has nothing to do with courage. Oh, it has to do it with has to do with... This is makes the... Now, there's a woman after my own heart. No. There's a woman who should have you arrested for disturbing the peace. I swear to you, I will get him out of here. Come, Vicky. Mm -hmm. 